Okay, so <coughs> got our solar panels uh, covered up, so they shouldn't be generating anything. And we've already taken the terminal or the things off of the back of the charge controller. Now we need to actually connect the leads from the solar panels up to the charge controller. So looking on the back of the charge controller, it's got the negative and the positive, which negative is going to be black, positive is going to be red, and it says solar panel, so this is where we want to connect it. So let's do all the negative ones first. So you're putting all three connectors for all three panels negative on there at one time. Yes, all okay. the black ones are going to the negative. And just a note for the men, do not take your wife's good comforter to cover up the solar panels. Don't take it off the bed or anything. This is an old one we were going to donate, so. Now we're going to do the positive ones, which are the red ones. connected up. Next thing we want to do is uh, connect the lead that's going to go to the battery and if you look on the back here it actually says battery so this is where the... And what is that that you're holding? Well, that's the solar charge controller that comes okay. with the solar with charge the kit. controller. Okay. okay so same thing black goes to negative, red goes to positive which is almost always true. But the nice thing is, for people like me that don't know that that's almost always true, um, I notice that there's little pluses and minus in color coding for us, so. You have to be careful, though. Every once in a while you run across something that's not correct. So. Okay, so that is connected up. Let's get this here. And let's see. And did the kit come with those leads for the battery? Yes. To, okay. Yeah, it came with all this. Came with the leads that go from the charge controller to the battery. Okay, so now we're going to connect it to our battery. This isn't the best battery to use. Preferably, you'd probably want some type of a storage battery. Uh, we happen to have this laying around because we had an issue with our truck not too long ago and we thought it was the battery. Turned out it wasn't, but oh well, now we got a spare battery. Um, <clears throat> And this particular battery isn't great because it's got the side terminals and it's kind of, instead of having the post you connect to, it's just got these side terminals. It's not great, but it'll work for our purposes at the moment. So we're going to go black to the negative. It's kind of tough to get these to stay on sometimes too. You get one on and the other one pops off, but it will work. I have had them on there before. You just got to play with it. So it doesn't make a difference which one you hook up first? Well, or would it make a difference which one you hook up first instance, if it wasn't covered? No, in this instance I don't think it does because basically you're not going to have anything flowing until you get both of them done. Boy, how does this not want to connect now? This is a tenuous connection at best. <laughs> But for our purposes, just to show how this works, it'll work at the moment. Until we get something better rigged up. So okay. that is connected. And then, so you get a power switch here, you flip that on. And then you push the button for your display. Right now it's showing about 12.7 volts. Okay. Which, uh, I believe they said when it gets fully charged, it'll do like 13.3 or something like that. So, again, our connections aren't great there, okay, because we're working with a side terminal battery. We will eventually get uh, at least like an RV battery, RV Marine deep storage battery. But, uh, oh, you know what? 
I wonder if that's reading from there. Yeah, I Actually, think it's reading from there. Because we don't the... have this off. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. That makes more sense. Yeah. We. I think we were reading. I don't know what we were reading. From the battery, I think. Yeah, I think maybe we were reading from the battery on that. It was feeding back in. Because uh, that battery should have been charged up. And what the controller is showing now is that it is. It's showing about 13.3, 13.4 volts, roughly. It's bouncing around a little bit, but um, showing that it is charged. This makes sense because we've actually had this connected up for a couple of days charging that battery. We just took it all apart to make this video to show you how to uh, set it up. So, um, when we first connected it, that battery was down around 12.7 volts, something like that. After we charged it overnight, we came back and checked it, and it had gone up to 13.3. So does work. So anyway, that's how you set up a harmless crate 45 watt solar panel.